wake me up to another good, good morning. Time to go. Yay! My CCTV system has, or we'll call it a system, my CCTV camera has arrived. Now, I am going to be turning it into a system. Um, so I've ordered a couple more of these. I've tested this one. It works perfectly. So I'm just going to run you through the setup and everything for it and where I'm going to put them in the van. Now, for those of you that don't know, haven't watched the video, the link uh, will be coming up on your screen about now. Um, the van had a hit and run probably two months or so ago. And basically, someone reversed into it uh, and punched the radiator. So it was not movable. Uh, and this has prompted me to get the CCTV. Now, obviously, in the middle there, we've got the camera. Now, that rotates. Uh, both uh, left and right and up and down. Um, so it's got a, it connects via Wi-Fi. Um, we then have a USB cable and then the fittings for it. Um, and that is it. Now this is the initial startup of the camera. Now I'm not. This is not on location. This yeah, I've got a location for it. Uh, at the moment, I'm just going to be using a uh, USB uh, power tank um, just to show you how it starts up and what it does. On the back of the camera there, you can see the little mini USB port um, just, just to the bottom there, just behind obviously the Wi-Fi aerial. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug that in now and I'll just show you the startup. So as the camera starts, it just runs through a couple of little che little checks. And that is it, that's the camera online. The plan is to have three cameras. This is the first of the three. Uh, now I'm gonna use this camera to cover the inside of the van. And I've just mounted this wooden bracket here just with double-sided tape just to check the position of it. And I'm gonna use that to, use this camera to cover the inside of the van and uh, down towards the safe and obviously the bed area and the back doors and also as well it will cover this side door now the camera is remote control so i can swivel remotely and yep it will just excuse the mess on my bed that is all my techie gizzits so let's get on with it so what i'm going to do is just use the mounting bracket for the camera which looks like that and I'm just going to hot glue it onto the end of the wooden bracket just that's on a slope so I'm just going to straighten the camera up just with the hot glue kind of pack it around so hopefully that will be okay cool so that's the camera up and I've just marked it We've got it in the position it's covering the door and towards the back of the van and the wardrobe and you can see down towards the safe and i've just put a mark on it just so if it gets moved or knocked or whatever then i can just line it back up again and there we go now i'll run through the software for it 
very shortly. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get a USB extension and just run it up here and then maybe put a cigarette, uh, cigarette socket down here under the battery, uh, under by the battery and just run the 12 volt, uh, just run the USB from that cigarette lighter or something like that. But that's what the plan is. This is the uh, app that I use. I've got a Samsung. Uh, it's called AIC in the Samsung App Store. Um, it's used actually for quite a few things. And as you can see, there's quite a few things that you can connect to it. Obviously, the one that we're going to use is the security option, uh, security and sensors. And in there, you can see the smart camera. Um, basically, you click on that and then it runs through a little set setup wizard to connect your phone to that camera. So all you do is you click on the little icon there. So I've got one there that says Van CCTV1 and then it launches the preview window. Now that little warning at the top there, the camera does have motion detection enabled on it. So if it sees motion, it starts recording and there's a few options in uh in the app that you can use uh now the first one is screenshot uh let's imagine it just allows you to take a screenshot of the app and the video screen the second one is speak so the the actual camera has a speaker built into it uh and you can click on that and you can actually talk to whatever you want that's close to the speaker so if you have a pet or if you have a child or if someone breaks in and you want to scare them then you can click on that and speak uh the second sorry the third one is the manual record button uh we then have the playback button uh which obviously allows you to um play back any recordings there is also the facility on the camera to uh, upload directly to cloud storage so um, what that does is as soon as it records video it will um, upload it directly to storage on the internet and i haven't subscribed to that but that is an option that is available to you and then last but not least we have the direction option now this lets you uh adjust the camera it is uh you can adjust the angle of the camera remotely either left or right or up and down so it's very handy for you to scan an area obviously whilst you're away not in that area uh overall i'm very happy with this camera uh i think the cloud storage you know would be better if you could use maybe Google Drive or Dropbox or such like for the cloud storage, which I'm investigating how to do at the moment. I haven't found a way around that just yet. Um, but that is the camera that I'm using. As you can see, it's moving around, going up, and then coming down. So that's the camera all up and mounted. I got myself a little, well, it's not a little, it's a two meter micro USB cable. And it basically plugs into the back of the camera, runs down behind the curtain, down behind the back of the chair and into the battery cabinet which is under here which is also where i store my shoes and it's plugged into the top over here of the solar controller so and this is my little shoe collection my dancing shoes my skates be great to get back out with the dancing shoes again well thanks for watching uh please like comment and share below and i look forward to giving you the next video